hi everyone welcome back to BNC here we are in the rural city of Wangaratta we're 260 kilometers northeast of Melbourne um, in the amazing uh, rural city of Wangaratta so come and explore um, where my family's home is so great to have you with us thanks for liking and subscribing to our channel and it's amazing to finally bring my princess to my book it or my village well, it's always a sad place to visit, but one of great reflection for one of the greatest people in my life. Here is where my grandfather is buried in Wangaratta in the Lawn Cemetery. So you can see there, that is my one of my most magnificent people in my life. And I miss him every day. everyone we're in the magnificent El Dorado in northeast Victoria so home of the McIntosh family my great-grandparents settled here um, so those of you that always challenge me about Australians being convicts uh -uh -uh, my family were free settlers and farmers that came from Scotland and this is where they settled in Australia they came to El Dorado so home is and always will be Victoria so there we go guys on one side of the family and then others in South Australia and everywhere else but we'll have a little couple little pictures and a, and a look around uh, this was a historic gold town and obviously when the gold disappeared um, we settled into farming and I don't think a lot has changed since so welcome to El Dorado to the east of Wangaratta now in El Dorado. So this is where the dream began, everyone. This is my home um, of my great-grandparents and our farm that you're looking at through Princess's camera there and the old farmstead looking down McIntosh Road or McIntosh Street. This street there is named after my grandparents. Right along with the windmill. a tree that my great-grandfather planted probably more than 100, 110 years ago. So, one general store, which is also the post office, the Commonwealth Bank and the pub, all in one go. Oh, by the way, and also the petrol station, which probably doesn't look like it's open anymore. Actually, it probably does. Still have uh, the petrol, one post box. And, uh, Quiet, peaceful place. Well, here we are back again. So, something my grandmother loved um, being in Wangaratta was the uh, beautiful rose garden and the roses. So, this was established uh, over 35 years ago. There's a lovely little park right at the sort of beginning of the town, I guess. So we look along the uh, main street of Wangaratta along here. And then the Rotary Club a long time ago set up this beautiful rose garden. So beautiful, uh, beautiful roses, every colour. Little garden for you to come and have a sit in or have a little bite to eat. So. Just one of those little hidden gems in uh, in Wangaratta, so there you go. And part of the beauty of living in Victoria, you get blessed with these amazing rivers. Uh, so the river with uh, 
Wangaratta is the, uh, the Ovens River, so linking into the, uh, the King Valley. And uh, this water comes direct from the mountains. Um, so in winter time, uh, when, the, when the snow is melting, this river gets fed uh, throughout the Ovens and the Kings Valley, so the Ovens River. Is, uh, pretty good so a bit of a uh, Murray cod a bit of trout and obviously lovely areas to, uh, to do a bit of camping peaceful quiet it's just you and nature and all the birds quite spectacular especially first thing in the morning I'm going to drop the line in like these folks over there, see what you can catch. And then you never know your luck when you can catch something as beautiful as this by the river. <laughs> That's my catch, folks. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> and obviously it is a watering hole, guys, so you can come down and uh, try your luck and have a swim. This is, this is the watering hole where people uh, do swim in summer. Uh, natural pool, if you don't want to jump in the, uh, the local pools. Wayne Grader does have a couple of swimming pools, so all good guys if you don't want to try your chances. So there we go guys, Ovens River, Wayne Grader.
Okay, everyone. So that brings the uh, show to an end for uh, Wangaratta in the northeast of Victoria. Just one last um, point to note is Wangaratta is the start of the Great Alpine Road. Um, my grandfather used to call it the snow road because it's the road that takes you to the snow. So heading down that way, folks, if you drive an hour and a half to Mount Buffalo, two hours to Falls Creek, a little bit further to Mount Hotham and Dinner Plain to the ski fields of Victoria, straight down the snow road, also takes you to Bright and to um, Porpunka and also um, Beechworth, the home of the uh, famous Beechworth Bakery along the snow road. So there we go guys. So we hope you enjoyed the show and uh, a little bit of Wangaratta and uh, a little bit of Bees, uh, Bees Heritage there for everyone. So uh, we're out here on the uh, Great, Al Great Alpine Road. So we hope you uh, enjoyed the show today. Loved having you with us, loved showing you around. It's great to have you with us again. Thanks for liking and subscribing to our channel. And guys, as we always say, may your journeys be a safe one. Until next time, everyone. Bye for now.